Hey everyone, I'm Kristen Gill, your host of How To Hollywood, and today I'm going to be doing this Kristen Bell inspired tutorial from the SAG Awards. She looked amazing, and I spoke to her makeup artist, Simone Siegel, and she gave me all of the details on what went into this look, and I actually have a couple products of the makeup that she wore that night. So if you guys wanna learn how to recreate this look, please keep watching. Simone told me that there were three key components, is the lip, the eyes, and the skincare. She's all about skincare, she says, and she used all Neutrogena products. They used things like Hydro Boost Sheet Mask and the Hydro Water Gel and Eye Cream. I already have my skin prepped. I have my foundation on and my concealer. I did not use Neutrogena because I don't normally use it, but she did use the Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint Foundation and the concealer stick to go along with that and I just have my bronzer already on, my blush already on, and I'm just going to get started right into the eyes because that was one of the key components. Getting ready to host tonight. Stick with me for all the fun and fantasy that will happen backstage before I inevitably ruin this show. So first I started out with a crease color, just a couple shades darker than my own skin tone, actually something that I use for bronzer. And now I'm going to start with the lid. I'm just going to be using a flat shader brush like this one. So she also used the Neutrogena Nourishing Longwear Eyeshadow and Built-In Primer. The shades look pretty shimmery right here. This is in the color Cool Plum. And she also used Coco Mauve. I don't have Coco Mauve today, but I do have the Cool Plum. And I'm just going to go right in with this pink shade right here. These are all shimmery shades, so that's why I went in with the crease color first. Now I'm just going to pack this on the lid. Simone went with a smoky eye for the night, and it started in the inner corner, it was pretty light, and then it just really smoked out into kind of a plummy color to match her dress. And that is my goal today. And then using a fluffy brush, I'm going to use the brown shade in that palette. And I'm just going to go in the outer corner of my lid and use windshield wiper motions. I'm just going to buff that in the crease and be really light-handed. The further you keep your hand out on the brush, the lighter your strokes will be. And these colors in this palette really made her eyes pop, especially on that red carpet. This is the look we're doing. And she was wearing that berry-colored J. Mandel dress, the strapless gown, it was gorgeous and the eyes just really, everything was so tied together with the nude lip. It was a perfect complement to this strong, smoky eye. Simone also told me that she chose a smoky eye because she said that Kristen looked so glamorous in one, wanted it to be a strong look because she was the first host of the SAG Awards, so she really wanted to make a classic statement, and I really think that they did. Jenny Cho said that they chose all updos because they love Kristen's jawline, it's very strong, and when her hair is up, it's really prominent. Okay, now I'm using the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This wasn't on Simone's list, but I don't have the mauve shades that she had for this look, and the antique bronze in my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette is very mauve -y. So I'm going to use a little bit of that just to go in the crease to create a little more of that berry tone that she had. And I'm just going to push that in with that same brush that I used to create that crease. Just push it into the outer corner, kind of in the outer V. Push that and then just buff it in right here. All about blending, you guys. She also told me that she didn't use lashes, which I was very surprised. Kristen has some amazing lashes. To be able to be on stage and in all of that kind of lighting and to not wear false lashes is huge. It looked amazing. And she also said that she didn't use any eyeliner. She just used a brown shadow. So I'm going to be using the Neutrogena palette for that. With that brown shadow, I'm just going to go along my lash line and that's it. Like it was actually a pretty simple look. She was all over the place. Obviously hosting is a huge gig. It was all about changing that lip out as quick as possible and back on stage. I am Kristen Bell and I am a narcissist. <laughs> Sorry, I am an actor. And tonight, I'm also your host. I'm bringing it a little bit down on the lower lash line, 
just to connect. So I don't want anything looking too purpley down here. It doesn't look like she has anything on that bottom lash line except for a little bit of that brown eyeshadow. But I don't want there to be a gap. Just to build up that outer corner a little bit more, I'm going to use an angled brush and I'm just going to go in with that purple shade in the Neutrogena palette at the very bottom of the Cool Plum palette to keep those berry colors. Bring in a little bit of a purpley tone. Not too much. Buff that in with a clean brush. I think we're as smoky as I wanna get. Let's do the eyeliner. I'm going to use another angled brush and I'm using that brown shade from the Neutrogena palette right here. And we're just going to create some eyeliner. And the cool thing about using eyeshadow as eyeliner is that you don't have to make it super perfect. It can look really soft and just kind of buffed into your lash line. So don't worry, if you're not great at eyeliner, it's okay. Eyeshadow is the best bet to use. So we're just pushing that brown shadow into the lash line. And Simone said that she did it midway through the eye. So she started about where your iris is right here and went over and built it up on this outer crease. She didn't bring it in at all on this side. I'm also going in with Cypress Umber from that Modern Renaissance palette, just because it's matte and it's a little bit darker and easier to build up. Okay, so with that same brown shade and a flat shader brush like this, it's just kind of like the angled brush, but it's more square. I'm just going to use a little bit of that Cypress Umber and the brown shade from Neutrogena and just tap them together to mix them. And I'm just putting that right along my lash line. Where you lay your brush first, the most product is going to go. So you wanna make sure that you have that smoked outside on the outside edge and then bring whatever's left on your brush to the middle. So same goes for the bottom. She didn't bring it all the way in either. She just brought it right to the middle. Okay, so now I'm going to use a little bit of mascara. She obviously used Neutrogena mascara. She used the Hydro Boost, but I am going to be using my Maneater mascara from Tarte. So I'm just going to do three coats of mascara on the top and bottom, and that should cover it. Okay, I'm done with the eyes. So for the last component of the look, it was the lip. The red carpet look like I'm doing right now is the color Pillow Talk. And this is the Matte Revolution lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. It's just this beautiful nude. And Simone told me that the lip color, which was specific to each look and dress, she wanted it to be classy, elegant, fresh, and fun. And I really think she nailed that because obviously on the red carpet, the dress spoke for itself. She had a subtle lip, the bold eye. And then when she was on stage, she wore beautiful Rima Acra and she wore Yanina Couture as the last final dress. And she just looked phenomenal with the berry lips that she chose for those. Those were actually Duchess, Glastonbury, and Loveberry. So she actually used four different lipsticks for the looks. Pillow Talk is the one that I've been throwing around right now. <laughs> So this is the one I'm going to be using. She did say she used a Neutrogena lip primer before because sometimes berry lips can bleed. She used the Neutrogena Hydro Boost lip treatment as the primer. I'm just going to pop this on and then we're done with the look. You don't even need a lip liner with this because it's so pointed at the tip. Simone told me that she came up with all of the looks, the lips to the looks with Jenny Cho, the hairstylist, like I said before, and Nicole Chavez, who did all of the styling for the night. And she said it was a true team effort. It's always a collaboration with the three of them. And Kristen looked phenomenal as the first host of the SAG Awards. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to Entertainment Tonight's YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.